So welcome to your ninth Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the timer control and I'll be demonstrating this using uh, an automatically updating clock and what a timer is, is it's basically a control that will automatically repeat like a sequence of steps so any chunk of code it will automatically repeat that every X amount of seconds so it could be every five seconds or every one millisecond it could be as often as you want so first what we need to do is just drag in a timer and put in a label and resize this form because it's going to be a big clock and change the text to zero zero colon zero oops zero 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 colon zero zero colon zero zero so hours minutes and seconds change the font so change the size to 70 yep change the size to 70 and change the form text to um, change this text to clock so first I'm going to demonstrate how the clock would run if we didn't use a timer so this timer isn't enabled at the moment so that's fine so double click on the form so it should say form 1 load as the event and inside here I'm just gonna put we're just gonna put label one dot text equals time of day and what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the text of label one to the current time of day so if we run this you see it says the time but that's frozen that was the time when this form loaded so if you look at the time now now it's actually 1836.22 so this is 10 seconds behind so to get around this we can use timers so just go back into the code actually and just delete all of that code inside there so if you go into this timer one and change the name of it to um, clock timer and we need to set it so that it is enabled and the interval I'm going to set this to a thousand milliseconds since there's a thousand milliseconds in a second and we want this to update every second so if we double click on the clock timer now inside this code so you see it's clock timer tick event so every time the clock ticks which is every one second or every one thousand milliseconds it's going to perform this code inside here so we're going to put the same code, so label, got to spell it right, label one dot text equals time of day, like that. So if we run this now, you see it goes on to all zeros for a second, and then it changes to this. So, and the reason it's doing that all zeros is because it's got that one second delay. So if we copy this text and put it into form one load it will at least when it loads it's going to put that time and then after a second it's going to start automatically updating so if we run that now you see it wasn't there it was frozen and then it started updating that's just basically how it's working behind the scenes so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and i'll see you in the next tutorial